Hello everyone, today is the 20th of January 2020 and today I am throwing it back old school and doing the 50 facts about me. Back in the day when all the tag videos and the facts videos were really popular, I should just make all the old school videos again. Okay, so I finally found some examples of what I mean. So people used to do the common white girl tag, the TMI tag, the get to know me tag, 50 facts about me tag. In the 14 years I've had this channel, I think I've made this video twice. Here's to the third time. Okay, so 50 facts about me. Number one. I can play and am self-taught at piano, guitar, ukulele, clarinet and recorder. Well, I had a few recorder lessons in reception class, but they pretty much just teach you how to play three blind mice. Number two. I am allergic to walnuts, deathly allergic to walnuts, so much so that I have an EpiPen. But I've never actually tried other nuts in case I am allergic. I've never had peanut butter or Nutella, which I'm really sad about. I always get told that I'm really missing out because I haven't tried peanut butter and Nutella. Thanks for that, guys. Cheers. Number three, I have a heart condition called patent ductus arteriosus, ventricular dysfunction and a slight arrhythmia. I have a scar here and then I also have a scar on my back, but I think it's faded. Then you should be able to see it. Number four, I yawn when I'm nervous. That is a recent thing over the last couple of years that I've noticed, <clears throat> and I don't know why I do it. The word yawn has made me want to yawn. <sighs> Number five, I passed my driving test third time. Number six, one thing that my brain always seems to remember, even without me trying to, is film release dates. Providing I've seen the film, I can always tell you when the film was released. I don't know why. My brain just remembers film release dates. Fuck knows why. Out of everything that I would like it to remember, it remembers film release dates. Number seven, I have had ear grommets five times and tea tubes twice when I was younger. And um, so I still have like a hole all the way in my ear canal, which means I can't actually stay underwater for too long. I don't really know what will happen if I stay underwater too long. I just know it's really uncomfortable um, and I feel like I'm drowning. The reason, <clears throat> the reason I had tea tubes and grommets is because I got a lot of glue ear and ear infections when I was younger and I don't know if they have these anywhere else in the world, but grommets are like little tubes and so with tea tubes they sit in your ear. Um, I'm guessing they stop the build up of wax. Number eight, my favourite colour is mustard yellow. Number nine, I was born on a Thursday during a snowstorm. Sam so snow baby. Um, why am I struggling to read my own writing? Um, number 10, I had my first eye test at the age of 28. Number 11, I am allergic and absolutely terrified, I've written, <laughs> of wasps and bees. So as much as I love the summer, I fucking hate the summer because as soon as anything buzzes, I have like a bee and wasp radar. I can see a bee or a wasp over the other side of the garden. So if I'm this side and it's all the way over there, I will know it's there and I just seem to attract them. Supposedly, I'm allergic to bees or wasps. You can't be allergic to both. And one stung me when I was younger and I had an anaphylactic reaction. Cue the EpiPen again. But I don't know which one I'm allergic to. I tend to stay away from both. But I think they can feel my fear. They can genuinely feel my fear. And so they always gravitate towards me, which is just great. I can't wait for summer. Number 12, my favorite film genre is horror. Mabe's a good like crime murder documentary. Number 13, I was raised by my nan from age 11, purely because my mum didn't want me to take my 11 plus and get into a grammar school, whereas my grandparents did. I got a maths tutor. I passed the 11 plus, I got into grammar school, and then I moved in with my nan and granddad, which was probably the best decision I ever made. Um, number 14, my favourite fruit is, wow, these are really boring, um, an avocado, thanks. Number 14, I would prefer to eat a punnet of strawberries over sweets. I do have a really sweet tooth, but if someone was to give me like strawberries or raspberries or grapes and sweets, I'd probably eat the fruit. I actually only tried raspberries for the first time last year and blueberries. Number 15, my favourite go-to meal is chips and gravy. Now I really want chips and gravy for lunch. Fuck yes. 16, I have been to Disneyland Paris five times, uh, Disneyland California twice and Florida twice. Number 17, I have 11 ear piercings, one nose piercing, one septum piercing and one belly button piercing. Number 18, I have 17 tattoos. Dreamcatcher, Disney Castle outline. Um, anniversary date in Roman numerals, uh, Mandala, Mickey Mouse, um, Treble Clef, and then I class that as one, it's just some music notes and a bass. Oh, I think I forgot to count this one last night. So maybe it's 18, might be 18 tattoos. I have Forget Regret, which is a rent quote 
some of the Prague skyline. It is meant to be wonky. That is the dancing building, which is a wonky building in Prague. Okay, what haven't I done on this arm? I think I've done everything on that arm. Flowers, another flower, more flowers. <laughs> Bullshit. Fearless. I've been sat on my leg, that's why it's red. Um, elephant from Thailand. Life is tough, but so are you. And some flowers. And a lotus. 19. I think I own more pairs of pyjamas and loungy clothes than out-out clothes. Number 20 is I love musicals. Number 21. Um, when I was six years old, I was chosen at SeaWorld to join the dolphin show. I just remember I was eating, I had like a Mickey tube filled with Smarties and it had Mickey Mouse, like Mickey Mouse's head on the top. Pulled it open, I was eating my Smarties and this guy just comes up to us and he's like, hey, would you like to be part of the show today? And I'm like, huh? <laughs> I was six, so I was really little. And I just remember the trainer saying, where are you from? Instead of just saying the country, so I should have been like, I'm from England. I said, I'm from Strood, which is this tiny little town in this tiny little county, in this tiny little place in England that no one had ever heard of. They hadn't heard of Kent, let alone Strood. Um, and so the trainer was like, Oh! <laughs> Number 22. I would love to have an Irish or a Southern Belle accent. I don't know. I just think everything sounds so much more laid back in a Southern accent. I can't do an Irish accent to save my fucking life. My go-to Irish word is girl. 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 I can say girl in an Irish accent. And I love it. I love it. I like girls. Number 23. I can quote most films after seeing them once. I can quote all of the others, Jumanji, Mean Girls and Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. It must be really hard for people to watch films with me if I've seen that film before um, because I do have to try really hard to not quote along with the film. Sometimes I say the quote before they've even said it so that must be really annoying. Number 24, I buy a majority of my clothes from charity shops. Partly because I'm poor and partly because I care about the environment. Number 25, I weigh 140 pounds and I'm five foot six and a half. Number 26, I have to have three or four sugars in my coffee. And number 27, I have never won a game of Monopoly. Number 28, I prefer cats to people 100%. Number 29, my go-to cocktail is a Long Island iced tea. Number 30, I had my tonsils and my adenoids taken out when I was nine. Number 31, years 12 and 13 at school was when I got bullied the most, so I turned to YouTube. I was making videos slightly before that because I joined in 2006, but years 12 and 13, so when I was 16, 17, 18, was when I started making a lot of videos and attended a lot of YouTube gatherings because I found it a safer and nicer community than the one at my school. So, but I'm glad I did. So, I fucking hated my school. It was an all girls school, so it's just bitchy as fuck. I can still remember to this day everyone that used to take the piss out of me. Lauren Mason, Lucy Green, Lacey Midgley, Rachel Mortley. If you're watching this, hi. I just remember one time, this was in year eight actually, and we was in art class and so we weren't allowed to sit with our usual group of friends we had to be mixed so there was this lucy green on the table with me and various other people a couple that i thought were my actual friends and i just remember out of nowhere she goes i don't really like you sarah i don't really know why <clears throat> i don't really know why i just don't i just remember looking up for my work just sort of nodding and then looking back down and no one said anything um, the fact that I still remember it now, honestly, must mean that it hurt. <laughs> Number 32. My favourite pizza is the £1 pizza from Tesco. And I work at Pizza Hut. Why spend, like, 25 quid on Domino's when you can get a couple of pound pizzas from Tesco? Boom. Done. Number 33. My favourite TV show is Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I watched it from the age of, I think I must have been six or seven when it started coming out. My nan had no idea that it was like rated 15 so she was recording it on VHS tapes for me and I had all the Buffy VHS box sets, the magazines, Spike all the way. The people that watch Buffy, Spike or Angel? It's gotta be Spike. Spike. Number 34, I have never managed to keep a plant alive. Number 35, I can't wear socks or pyjamas to bed, I have to be fully naked. Number 36, I can't grow my nails. Meaning that they do grow, they just always snap and they're so brittle. That is my nail just like coming off. Number 37, I have only recently learned how to apply false lashes. It's only taken me 29 years. 
Number 38, my favourite licorice all sorts are the pink and blue aniseed ones, which everyone else seems to hate, but I really like them. Number 39, if I'm watching TV, it's probably Friends, Harry Potter, or Grey's Anatomy. Number 40, if I could move to anywhere, it would be New York City. <laughs> Number 41, my big toe is smaller than the rest of my toes, except my little toe. Look how small and deformed my big toe is. Number 42, I once ate six cream eggs. I'm saying this like it's an achievement. If I could like fit it in, oh, oh my god, can't do it. <laughs> Yeah, I want to say a six pack of cream eggs. Number 43, I am a Hufflepuff. The other day, Jack bought me a Hufflepuff birthday cake and everyone was singing happy birthday. I blew out the candle and Jack's dad was like, what's a Hufflepuff? Which is really hard to explain to someone who's never seen Harry Potter. Number 44, I love fairy lights and I would probably cover every room in the house in fairy lights if I could. And I did actually do that with my flat before I had fairy lights in the living room, the kitchen, the bedroom, and actually in the bathroom. So yeah, I have done that before. It's so hard not to be seductive when you're eating a cream egg. That's attractive. Um, number 45, I like eating cereal for dinner. I feel like cereal tastes better in the afternoon. Number 46, my favorite takeaway is Indian. 47, a third of my resume is a lie. Like, let's be honest, whose isn't? Number 48, I've only ever had one hangover in my entire life. Number 49, I have a phobia. I'm choking on a cream egg. I have a phobia of throwing up. A, f a genuine phobia about throwing up. If I start to feel sick, I panic, which makes me feel more sick. And I, I have a panic attack about feeling sick. I just, I don't know why. Number 50, I mean, I mentioned this at the start of the video, but I have previously made this video twice in my entire time on YouTube. I am open to all suggestions for videos because I am trying to make videos more regularly. Yeah, so that is all for now and I will see you soon. Bye.